Welcome to This Day and Everything Cool for July 22nd. On this day in 2004, Nintendo had an idea that looked good on paper and everywhere else. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door was released on the GameCube in Japan, with a Western release following a few months later. It was the second game in the Paper Mario series following the original that had been released on the N64 in the year 2000, and this time around the battles were much more intricate. Nintendo and developer Intelligent Systems also doubled down on the paper theme, using it during gameplay to allow players to do new things, like turn Mario sideways in order to squeeze through cracks. The story was also much more in-depth than the previous game, and actually had more in common with the SNES game Super Mario RPG, which was a precursor to the original Paper Mario. Basically, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door was the definitive Paper Mario experience, and it became one of the best-selling titles on the GameCube, establishing the franchise as a valuable property for Nintendo. Several sequels and spin-offs have followed. 